if you've got a small kitchen that's hard to organize, I am so glad you're here today because we're doing a complete makeover for under $200. This is my friend Darian from our Bible study group at church. I was so excited to tackle this space. It's less than 200 square feet and their entire home is less than a thousand square feet. They always felt like the cabinets were overstuffed, they don't have a pantry, so many items ended up on the countertops. But I knew in just a couple of hours we could tackle this and give them a place they could love. Got all the organization stuff and I bought a cat. <laughs> Step one was to clear out the entire kitchen. Now once you've lived in a house for a little while, you get used to things the way they are. But I would encourage you, especially in a small space, to take the time to reevaluate. Do the decisions that you've previously made actually work for your life now? Oh man, we're gonna clean this out and you are gonna love this space when it's done. Almost every single person I've talked to with a small space says, if I just had more room, I would be more organized. I guarantee in that small space, you are not maximizing it to its potential. You have duplicates of things you don't need. You can declutter and use what you've got. This is like a, cl a clown car of nails. <laughs> And remember, a clean space is a beautiful one. We just took some magic erasers to take off some of the grime that had built up on the cabinets and it made them look instantly brand new. Scale of one to 10, Darian, what is your satisfaction level? 10. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm converting you. <laughs> All right, so this is the real life look. I just took everything all out of the cabinets and put it all on the counter so we can see what we're working with and then really maximize all of the cabinet space. I got this bag organizer off of Amazon. It was very inexpensive. And now you don't have a drawer of bags anymore. How excited are you? <laughs> so, so super exciting. <laughs> I wonder how long this has been in there. Oh, oh man. Disgusting and all falling apart. Well, I'm glad we're taking it out. New systems, better ways. This is gonna be some satisfying, serious cleaning. Paisley, are you ready to get organized? Oh, I knew you would be. Tip two is to create stations. I noticed when I came over, there were tons of snack boxes everywhere and they didn't have a designated space for their coffee station. So we created one on the side counter along with some snack bins on top of the microwave. That way they could easily access those things and clutter stays out of the area. Keeping things simple is really key. Darian and Brittany also didn't have a pantry, so we redefined the space to use the cabinetry for some of their food items. We have a space for cans, and we maximized all of their plates by adding a Dollar Tree shelf, so it's really easy to get in and out. I also find that a lot of people hold on to too many plates and too much silverware, so by sticking with one set of plates, it really eliminates the extra clutter and makes things easy to get to. I found some super cute pull-out baskets from Big Lots and those worked really well in this space. Now they have a baking cabinet and a super easy place to keep all of their supplies. Especially if you're on the shorter side, adding a Lazy Susan to the top of cabinets makes it really easy to find everything so it doesn't get lost in the back. And I love clear and easily labeled pouring containers for the staples that you're constantly buying. Next, invest in items that are gonna make a really big impact in this space. Underneath of the sink, we got a sliding under sink shelf and this works great for all of their cleaning products. It makes it so easy to see along with the bag organizer. They were not utilizing underneath of the oven for storage, so we're gonna take the stuff that they don't normally access, stick it under here, fits perfectly, and then in this cabinet over here, so many people have these quarter cabinets that can be really tough to organize. Here are some really easy solutions. I love lids and stacking storage. They have kind of an awkward side cabinet where they keep all of their pots and pans, and this made it really easy so they could see everything. 
This is from the Dollar Tree, one of my favorite products, and they are perfect for lids. And they look like they're not that sturdy, but once you get these really heavy duty lids in here, this is not going anywhere. You don't have to spend a lot for it to look beautiful and function in an organized way. I'll be sure to link all of the products down below at their rock bottom prices. My next tip is to keep items by category. They were dealing with some small drawers, but we have all of their plastic baggies and their baking supplies all in one area. So it's easy to find and you always know you go to that one spot. This is a great opportunity to declutter as well so you don't have duplicates of items and all the things that you use all the time are at arm's reach. Are you checking out that stuff? She's like, no. <laughs> I'm really glad we had all those extra nails because this is gonna look super cute above the stove. The little touches make a huge difference. Maybe adding a really pretty and inexpensive piece of art. This one was under $15. A cute canister on the countertop so the space feels open, warm, and inviting. These simple changes made such a huge difference in their space. Darian, we have extra space. Woo! You just rock. your dream home or a brand new kitchen. But when you love what you have, you have everything that you need. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave it a big thumbs up. I'd love to bring you more small space organizing ideas. I am so grateful for you. Subscribe so I can catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you there. Bye. This is reminding me that I have to do this at my house too. It's so satisfying to get this clean. Look at that. I don't know if this is working. Darian, how much are you loving this right now? I'm loving it so much. One, <laughs> two. It's like a little three, fence. Four. And we cut the wrong number of pieces, but eventually it's going in. Oh, hey, Paisley, I'm organizing. Do you want to watch me? You do. You're going to stay. You're going to watch me. This is what cats do. They just sit and watch you. Uh -huh.